Welcome back to this Unity tutorial. Today we are going to make a lot of new stuff, but first I will show you my uh, Unity window because last time I forgot at the end. Uh, this is because I need to uh, basically record the window separately, uh, Unity and Sublime Text, because on Linux I have weird artifacts. Uh, if I capture the whole screen, I don't know why it's uh, only with Unity. So maybe we, I will solve this later, but for now it's going to be like this. So let's uh, jump and check Unity, and after we will discuss what we will do in this video. So last time we did uh, the game manager, right, and the map, and uh, now we have the gizmo, right, and uh, as you can see we have uh, 150 by 150 uh, radio of, of cubes. And that's exactly what we did last time, right? We created a map of uh, uh, and in 2D, uh, just a rectangle, right? Camera. No. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, it's just around the gizmo for now. So uh, just so uh, for some information uh, before we start. Uh, between video, I will uh, just edit the comments of the code because uh, I type fast when I record and I want to this project to have clean comments. Uh, so I will just update the comments uh, between videos. And uh, for this episode, we are going to start by making a rectangle class. Uh, Unity has one uh, rectint, I think, but I like mine and I'm used to work with it. So we are going to make this. And then we are going to subdivide our map into sections and uh, generate a mesh for each section and draw the mesh on the screen. Uh, so this is going to be yeah, a long episode, I think. Um, also, uh, in the middle, we are going to take a break to think about uh, how we uh, add our table to the memory. Because for now it's contained in tile, but with the region system, I'm not even sure we need a tile class. So yeah, we'll take a break and think about this and how to do this. Uh, because what's important in uh, this type of game is to be able to get quickly uh, all the tree in uh, area, for example, right? Um, but uh, not really get. Uh, what tileable at uh, our disposition. Well, it's important too, but both are equally important and we need to be able to get this uh, information fast in our game. So we'll take a moment to think about this, discuss the possible solutions and uh, make a choice uh, after that. And uh, in the video just after this one, I will take a, a short video just to draw some uh, Terrain texture like dirt and water, for example, and just uh, grass, uh, just to test, uh, just to test our engine. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So uh, let's uh, start with the rectangle class. So I will make a new folder called uh, in scripts called helpers, I think, or you can call this uh, mathematics. And we will call our uh, file, uh, I don't know, uh, rectint is taken by Unity, so we can call it uh, recti, for example. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. Uh, and we will use our uh, I will use the numspace file dot uh, And uh, so let's start our, uh, sorry. So let's start. Uh, so we are going to use a struct. Um, here. And we'll need what? I think we need uh, just Unity Engine. Maybe collections. No. Um, so uh, what's a rectangle? Uh, basically, we will represent a rectangle by two points, right? Uh, the first point will be the mean, and the second point will be the the max, right? And uh, then we just have a rectangle, right? 
because uh, if we draw the line uh, here, yeah, that's a rectangle. So let's do this. Uh, and max and uh, I think I will uh, set the setter to protected because we want to use the constructor yeah and we'll add the size obviously uh, and uh, for now it's going to be just this but uh, it will be a getter in the end and uh, an area also maybe yeah uh, the area is just uh, width multiplied by the height and uh, I think that's it right yeah maybe we can make a getter uh, for the width and uh, height uh, yeah so let's start uh, like I said we want our rectangle to be defined by uh, Min and the max. Uh, so, yeah. But we also want to be able to uh, have another constructor where, where we pass the minimum and the size. And, uh, yeah. This is going to be useful, so this is the thing. Um, so the max is just the min x plus width, right? And the the eight, the max uh, y is just a min y plus eight, right? Because uh, the size is just a min. It's a rectangle. I don't think I need to explain this, but if you want me to explain more uh, stuff more, just leave a comment, right? Um, then we want some uh, other function. We want a function, uh, so we want an enumerable to get uh, all the vector two uh, in a rectangle, uh, because uh, this is going to be a proof for version. So we want an enumerator. Uh, to do uh, for each right something like this we want also um, a clip uh, to clip inside another rectangle right uh, for example this will be useful for example for um, when we want to know if a section is visible on the camera rectangle. Uh, we want to uh, contain also, and this is not the first time I'm making this, right? I'm not just like... Uh, I, I, uh, so, uh, is a vector to int in for rectangle. And what else do we want? Uh, maybe uh, get hash code just for speed, so just to be faster and uh, to string. Yeah, I think that's it, right? Let me see. So uh, we know the width is um, this dot max dot y. Because we minus uh, this in x, and this is exactly like this, but uh, inverted. Because we always, uh, when we uh, set a rectangle, we always have the min and max, so we can uh, get the width like this, and uh, eight is the same thing, and the area. It's just uh, this dot uh, width multiplied by this dot height, right? 
and uh, it's better if I return this. I don't know why, why, why uh, I have no errors. This is real. Uh, Oh, it's a struct, so yeah, never mind. Um, oh, I don't know if I can use a protector in the struct. I don't think so, but uh, maybe I'm not an experience sharp, right? Uh, uh, well, yeah, well, we need to we need to make this. Uh, because uh, it's a strict, so yeah, it's just a, a vector to uh, int representation of the size, right? Yeah, non protected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes that makes sense actually. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, yeah. So we're back. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so yeah, so let's make uh, first. Let's make the enumerator. So uh, oh, and we need collection dot generate them. Uh, so let's make a public enumerator to int get yeah, and for int x again this dot min dot x x and this uh, is max dot x x plus plus right and let's copy this and uh, make the same for y uh yeah uh yeah rotor new vector so yeah, that's right um uh, <laughs> yeah May replace. So we have our enumerator. Um, okay, let's make the clip of uh, at last. So let's make contain first. Uh, point or B. Let's keep some constant constant oh, my English. Uh, you know you can call this whatever you want, right? Uh, so if v dot x is superior or equal as this dot min dot x, and v dot y is superior or equal as this dot min dot y, and v dot x is yeah, basically this is a boundary check, right? And, and this x dot y. Yeah, this should work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the get hash code, I will make uh, something uh, simple. Uh, let's just return. Uh, this that mean that x plus this that mean uh, that y for us uh, multiplied by something. So uh, let's say we will not have rectangle, but uh, uh, that's why. Uh, Let's use six 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 right and uh, plus that uh, will uh, singles yeah uh, and uh, this should be okay I guess yeah I don't even know if we need to wait wait oh. Yeah, this should be fine. This should be fine, I think. This should be unique, right? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, we'll see quickly. Uh, we compare.
So, yeah. So now we can print, print our rectangle and uh, so let's make the clip function, the last one. So we are going to clip uh, uh, against another rectangle, right? Uh, so the, let's call this other. So if uh, this that mean that x is uh, fair, other that mean that x, right? Uh, so we keep the other. So this that mean that x equal other that mean that x, right? Right. This that max that x that max that x this that max that x and basically we make this for x and y uh, yeah uh, and this should work I think. Yeah, we have a rectangle class. I, I will make a beautiful drawing here just because uh, I like to waste time. Uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do this like this. Right. Uh, this is so useless. Right. And, uh, yep. This, this is so beautiful. I'm an artist. And, uh, I can do this. As it is. this. Uh. So good. Uh, sorry. Uh, so yeah, now we have an area, and what we can do is uh, in our map, for example, uh, define a, um, a rect representing uh, our map, uh, and uh, yeah, and and let's call this map rect and uh, let's just uh, set the map rect again new rect e uh, so uh, new vector to in 0 0 and uh, with 8 and uh, and if we did, did not fuck this up for example, here when you initialize uh, this, uh, we could just do uh, for each vector to int v in this dot map rect. Um, we can uh, we can do this, right? Uh, if we don't uh, didn't fuck this up. And the same goes for the numerator, actually. I'm not sure it's faster. I actually, I'm pretty sure it's slower. But it's... Uh, it's, uh, it's quite nice to read, right? For edge vector in the rectangle. Yeah. So let's uh, check if this works. Um, Unity. Uh, so we, uh, we should see exactly the same thing as last time, and we do, apparently. So, well, I think we do. Yeah, it's hard to test this stuff. Let's make a smaller map uh, just to test if it, it's uh, if it has a map as a good size, right? Uh, game manager, let's make 5x5, five five, right? Uh, uh, 
So this should be 5 by 5, right? It is. So seems like it's working, right? I should have used the draw wireframe cube. It should be more, much easier to see, but it's working basically, right? Uh, but just because. Draw wire. No sense. Now let's check this. Yeah, and that's a that's a good size, right? So five five. Yeah, our rectangle class is working. Fantastic. So now let's subdivide our map in regions, right? Let's have some fun. But first. Yeah, no, let's subdivide the map in region and then let's talk uh, how we are going to save the tileables in memory. That's cool. Uh, so let's think about the region system. Alright, what's a region? Basically, it's a smaller rectangle, right? Uh, like it's, uh, for example, if our region size is 5, uh, or map is subdivided in area of 5x5, five five, right? Um, yeah, and that's it. That's a, that's a region, right? So let's make this... Um, so let's write a new uh, class um, in uh, world and call this uh, map region. That's yes. And uh, we are using five dot helpers because we'll need the rectangles and uh, uh, probably Unity Engine, I think. I will check after. Uh, namespace five dot world uh, public class map region. So we want a rectangle, obviously. A rectangle defining our region. Um, maybe we want a reference to our map, this is not uh, needed, but I will take one. Uh, I will make uh, add a question mark. Uh, maybe we want an uh, identifier. Uh, yeah, we want one. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. And after that we want a region renderer, maybe. Um, but for now, let's just do this. So, uh, region rect. Um, uh, and uh, let's make a, an identifier as well. Uh, so yeah. let's do public. Uh, let's make a construction uh, with uh, all this uh, information. Uh, do I give a rect here, or do I do I generate one? I think I give a rect, and uh, yeah. Will, uh, Uh, and that's it for now. Yeah, that's absolutely that's our that's our class. And I will keep the commenting consistent. Uh, so I'm using this for variables um, and uh, triple slash for methods and uh, double slash for class. But uh, yeah, I don't know why actually, but um, so now we need to subdivide the map, right? Uh, so how are we going to do this? Um, so I think we need a dictionary actually of sections. Yeah, and we have an identifier, 
integer so let's make a private uh, dictionary of integers and map sec uh, regions sorry I'm, I'm calling it section because in my game it's called section but i think region is a better name uh, so let's call this uh, regions and uh, Okay, so let's make a method called uh, set regions uh, define all region in our map. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's call this. Uh, Void, void. That's void. Um, so this dot. Uh, let's uh, initialize the dictionary. Uh, and we uh, then we need to know the size. So for this, we need to know the size of the region. For now, let's just make a constant, and then we, in a later episode, uh, we'll make uh, uh, we'll make uh, a setting class, right? Uh, is, uh, yeah. So uh, we need to say to an integer the size divided by the section size. Multiply this by uh, the width, the height. Yeah, okay. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, int uh, uh, region uh, length regal but f dot sale to int uh, this dot size dot x is divided by uh, map dot section region size right uh, Multiplied by the same thing uh, and I think this is correct, right? Why do I want the count? Actually. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, why, I, why am I making a dictionary here? That's stupid, right? That's the point of the, of the ID. This is just going to be a, an array, right? We need this to be fast. Our dictionary are fast, actually, there are large tables. So, but, yeah. Uh, that's why I wanted the lens, right? My, my brain is broken. Uh, it's late for me. So this should work, I think. And now we need to set this. Uh, the, uh, I, I will not do this in an elegant way. I just do this, right? Uh, x equals 0, x and power this dot size dot x, x plus equal uh, map dot uh, region size, right? This is not, uh, you can do this better, but this is going to be fine, I think. Um, and then we need to define, so we we, for, we make a loop and we increment x uh, by the region size. 
for the, for this example, x is um, is five, so we have x at five, then at ten, then at at uh, 15, then at 20, until we reach the uh, map size, right? Uh, so we need to define uh, a new rectangle. The section rect uh, is going to be... Uh, uh, what? Uh, what? So uh, the mean is going to be uh, x and y, right? And the max... Well, actually, we don't need the max, we go, which is just because I made the constructor to make this right in my uh, in my rect. Yeah, each time I say in my rect, I uh, I here in my head rectum, so it's quite funny for me, but. Just weird. Uh, let's let's uh, talk about something else, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm making the rect for my section, and uh, need, then we need to clip this uh, inside the map rect because uh, uh, because uh, for example, if our map is uh, uh, eight by 8, right, and our section size is size, the last one is going to be to want uh, 5 by 5, but uh, it's not possible, right, because the uh, map size is 8. So we need to clip this inside the map rectangle. Um, and then we need to add a new section, a new, new regions, uh, so, yeah. And I don't have a, I, well, I have two actually, but I'm so bad with words. Uh, I plus plus, right? Uh, why, why? Yeah, I think this is okay. But, uh, I do this this way. Um, do I have a way of getting the regions? No. Uh, I'm gonna make this. Uh, I'm gonna change some stuff later. But uh, for now, this is going to be fine. I just. And what would be we could uh, make a dictionary of um, really? yeah we could make a dictionary like this right um, with like a uh, position uh, region by position um, and if we flatten the this and just do, just do this um, and it's going to be a little bit slow to set up but really fast to but we could also make the eye uh, here. Uh, there is a way to reverse the eye. Yeah, but I don't feel like doing the math right now. So I'm going to just, uh, because I'm bad at math. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I'm going to just uh, do uh, what I just said. So uh, let's uh, define this. Uh, And uh, let's just do
So we just uh, we just take the same identifier as our uh, the same thing we did here, right? And so uh, this needs to be here. So if I'm not crazy and we did this uh, correctly. So if I'm not crazy, if we do this correctly, I will need to make a getter for the region by position, but for now we are not uh, going to do this. Uh, let's just do this.setRegions, right? Uh, and then we are going to draw the regions uh, in your game manager. And let's make a, a so let's make a bool, uh, draw uh, gizmo, uh, tiles, public pool, uh, draw gizmo um, regions. Let's let's uh, in them false, right? And this is going to be useful because we can do stuff like if this report dot ready, right? And uh, if this dot uh, gizmo tile, draw this, right? Uh, I'm not going to use the next because maybe I want to draw both. Um, yeah. Uh, so for which maps region, map region uh, in this dot map dot uh, regions. I don't have access to this. Well, I should have make this. Uh, I could just make a getter, right? Yeah. Yeah. I could just so uh, made a protected set like this, but actually the same thing. So. Um, So, uh, regions, right? And uh, so, how, how we, uh, we are going to draw this? Uh, so, let's uh, use a color. Uh, yeah, I don't know, some kind of uh, blue, maybe. center right uh, so this is going to be uh, this one is easy this one is vector tree uh, map uh, let's call this region uh, region that uh, right. that's no yeah that reads uh, minus uh, that file we'll see why later and, uh, and uh, just because I want to be able to see the border between regions that uh, I hit minus dot five and, um, okay, so this one is good I think uh, this one is kind of tricky so because uh, so uh, we draw from the center right Yeah. We draw from the center. Uh, 
So it's the max uh, minus the size divided by 2 minus 0 0.5. Think. Well, let's test this right. Um, so it's going to be uh, max dot x minus region the track the width minus uh, dot five uh, divided by two. As it seems correct. Is, that... is this correct? Not sure. Uh, let's check in Unity, right? Yeah, uh, we need a bigger map than this, right? Uh, so, where is our game manager? Let's do 100 by 100 and uh, let's move this camera right to, uh, I don't know, to play. Let's enable the tiles. To time, time. Oh, something like this, all right? Um, let's copy this. Um, first, let's see, eight here. Let's change the background color. Oh, sorry, I'm not in it. Let's uh, change the... Uh, so I just moved the camera to 1515, right? And uh, set the size to 8. Right? And I'm changing the background color to something uh, darker. And that's it. So, um, now we should have... Uh, if we draw the, the... Yeah, we should have... That's our types, right? And if you do all the regions, this is not uh, what I want. And I try to use a better color. Max the Y is fucked up. Why? Does the Y? Just copy paste. Well, uh, well, let's uh, let's check quickly uh, my code. Uh, check what's this? Uh, X Y map the trojan side and in rectangle. Do I set this correctly? This been uh, yeah. And in uh, here, uh, this is this fine to me, I think. Max, region right, that max dot y minus region right, eight minus point five divided by two. Yeah. Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, finish, uh, the, the rectangle, right? Uh, just uh, checking if everything is logical. Because uh, we we made the rectangle class, we we didn't test uh, really. Well, we a little, but not really. Uh, so let's uh, check uh, what we have in our rectangles. Oh, it's bugged again. I don't have any debug. Oh, no, because I don't draw the region. But, uh, okay. So 
size is five zero. Yeah, that's not uh, cool. So I should. Uh, I guess I have a bug in my rectangle. Well. Uh, oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this should work now. Um, let's change some stuff quickly. Uh, so let's remove the debug because it's quite laggy. Yeah. I'm not sure, but yeah, this... yes, uh, we draw from the center, all right. Sure. Uh, no, uh, I have a bug in my head, but uh, let's check Unity uh, just to be sure what we are doing. Maybe the, draw the drawing will be shitty, but it should have an idea. Uh, yeah, that's uh, almost right. Well, the, draw the drawing is fucked up. I guess my minus zero five is not at the right place, but draw from the center, right? So we don't need to the minus uh, minus five, not five here, right? So so if we take a look now in Unity, um, uh, we should have something like uh, this. Wow, it's dark. Uh, no, but uh, really, we should have something like this, right? And that's what we wanted, right? Uh, so for, we have uh, divided our map in uh, in regions, right? And uh, if we change the the region size in uh, our code, um, so uh, for now it's in map, right? Const. Let's do 25, for example. Uh, we should have only four regions, right? No. Stupid. Well, uh, yeah, four by four regions. That's what I meant. Uh, so this is working, this is quite nice actually. Um, so yeah, our map is subdivided in regions. That's uh, exactly what we wanted. Um, now we need to sync. So for example, if uh, we have a character in this region, we want to be able to get, uh, I don't know, all the tree uh, in the same region, right? And the path to go to there from there. Uh, but uh, this is going to be for later. Uh, right now, we just need to be able to get uh, all the tree uh, in this region. So, yeah, we need to think about this. Uh, but that will, I think I will stop the video right now and uh, let uh, this and the mesh for a second episode because this episode is uh, already uh, long. So, yeah, we make a two part episode. So this is going to be part one, and in the second part, we are going to make the uh, to save the tailables in the region and make some getters and setters. Uh, well, at least think about it and uh, build our mesh data class and uh, draw a mesh for each region. So, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye bye.